Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am on a quest to find the best tasting, most satisfying alternative to my beloved soda. I have six healthier sodas to taste test today. I have three different grading criteria. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> We're gonna do this. I, I'm gonna find one. Oh, I forgot my straw. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right, so today's theme finding a healthy soda alternative. So my whole thing with soda, I'm a little addicted to it. Have been for a really long time. I've always known that it is unhealthy. Um, not only does it have no nutritional value, but it actually has chemicals that could harm you. So I have always known this, or at least for a long time. Um, definitely after taking all the classes to get my exercise science degree, nutrition classes that I've taken, but soda is my favorite beverage. So it's something that I've just always come back to, even if I've tried to like take it out of my diet. I have probably been on the hunt for a good tasting, satisfying soda alternative for, <laughs> I would say it's probably close to 10 years and I just have never found it. I came close with Izzy. It's basically just sparkling water and fruit juice, but you get a lot of sugar in those. So I decided to kind of take y'all on this journey with me. And I have six different sodas that I bought from Sprouts. I do have a grading criteria. Chalk that up to the former teacher in me. But I do have three different criteria that I am grading these on. Um, so number one, fizziness. That is one of my favorite things about a Coke is how fizzy it is and like that it kind of almost makes your eyes water and it's this like tingly feeling. Number two is the general taste or kind of the initial taste. Does it taste good? And then number three is the aftertaste. So a lot of these healthy soda alternatives have a really bad aftertaste that is just like ugh, it sticks with you for a while. Each of these will get a score on a scale of one to five, and the total score will be 15. I'm gonna grade all of these, all six of these, and we'll see which one scores the highest, and if it can dethrone my favorite soda, which is Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero Sugar. My absolute favorite, so much so that I've got three cases of it down in the refrigerator. But first, in my videos, I'm gonna do something new. I'm gonna have a question of the day in all of my videos. So one of the reaction channels that I watch, that I love to watch, is called The Mexanese Family. And they always have a question of the day in their videos. And I think that's a good idea because I would love to hear from y'all a little bit more and learn more about y'all. So question of the day, what do you call a soda? So I, for instance, am from Georgia, hometown birthplace of Coca-Cola. So we call it Coke. So if you say, I'll have a Coke, and they'll say, what kind? Um, so what do you call it? Do you call it soda, pop, soda pop? I would love to know. Leave that down in the comments below, and let's get going. Ooh, do you wanna do this in alphabetical order? Let's do this in alphabetical order. I'm not weird, please don't make fun of me. So, the first soda that we are gonna try, sorry, the light, it's like rainy, but then sunny, but then rainy, but then sunny. Also, look at my sweatshirt. Mickey's Hiking Club. So the first one we are gonna try out is from the brand The Boo. This is sparkling probiotic water. I got it in mango. I almost said in the shade. <laughs> so in this can, two billion high quality probiotics are intermingling with 12 ounces of antioxidant infused fizzy water and a hint of delicious mango flavor. It's water crafted to taste good and feel good. You might call it belly magic. We call it part art, part science, and all good. 
That sounds delightful. All right, so this contains all that yummy bacteria that we need. Hmm. So first we will talk about fizziness. I was feeling pretty good about it when I first opened it because it went like but upon drinking it, there's not a whole lot of fizz. So I would say on a scale of one to five, I would give that probably about, I'm gonna give it like a two and a half. And aftertaste, it doesn't really have much of an aftertaste, which is amazing. So with aftertaste, the way that I'm doing the scale is one means that it has a lot, like a really bad aftertaste that lingers. And five is that it has no aftertaste and is all good. So I will give this, I'm gonna give this a four for aftertaste. And as far as the initial taste, just the general taste of this, I don't taste a whole lot of mango, um, but it did say that it was just like a slight, it says a hint of delicious mango flavor. And I do taste a hint of it. So it's mostly just, it really does taste like just a sparkling, slightly flavored water. So for general taste, I will give this a, I'm gonna give this a four. I actually kind of liked it. So that was the Boo Mango Sparkling Probiotic Water. Starting off, we're, we're off to a good start, I would say. Next up, we have from the brand Hansen's. This is the Cane Soda Mandarin Lime, naturally flavored and other natural flavors. So there are 170 calories in this can. It is made with real cane sugar. It is caffeine free, gluten free, and sodium free. So yeah, the only ingredients in this are carbonated filtered water, cane sugar, citric acid, and then natural flavors. Ooh, so this is manufactured for the Coca-Cola company, Atlanta, Georgia. So first of all, maybe I should have also given some points for packaging, because I actually really like how this looks. <laughs> So the appeal of this one that makes it a healthier alternative is that it is made with real sugar instead of any kind of sugar substitute or without any kind of corn syrup. And it is caffeine free, unlike a lot of sodas. It is gluten free and it is sodium free. But this does have 44 grams of sugar. So while it is natural cane sugar, which is in my opinion better to put in your body than some of than like a sugar substitute there is still 44 grams of sugar in here which is about 88 percent of your uh total allowed sugar for the day <laughs> that's a lot it's added sugars as well so i got mandarin lime i tend to like orangey and lime flavored stuff as well as cherry Ooh, ooh, yum. That's yum. So, fizziness, again, it was not that fizzy. This one is not as fizzy either as I like it, but I think it was a little more fizzy than the BU one. Is it BU or BU or BU? So I am gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a three and a half for fizziness. For the general taste, I loved it actually. You can definitely taste the, the mandarin and the lime flavors. I absolutely love that. So I'm gonna give, just because I'm a little scared to give it a five, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. And the aftertaste, there is a slight one at the, like the back of my throat, but it's very, to me, it's very pleasant. Um, it's not that like bitter aftertaste that you get. I'm gonna give it a four and a half for aftertaste as well. So the next one, this one, I feel like I've tasted before because it's like all people ever talk about. I feel like I seen this, I feel like I've seen this so much. Like teachers are always drinking this and I think I've had it once and I like, so yeah, this is the one that I got today. We have LaCroix sparkling water, lime naturally essenced. So not flavored, essenced, it's essenced with lime, zero calorie zero sweetener, zero sodium equals innocent. Okay. <laughs> Ingredients, only carbonated water, naturally essenced. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Oh, I don't like that. 
Okay, so fizziness. There was a little bit, of, there is a little bit of a fizz. It is sparkling water. Um, so fizz, I will give it a three. I think there's more fizz to this than there were, than there were to the other two. General taste, I'm giving this baby a one. We'll give it a one and a half because I feel bad, but I do not like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because I think I've tried just regular sparkling water, just without any kind of flavoring, just sparkling water. And that's exactly what it tastes like. It is not for me. Aftertaste is not too bad. It doesn't, it doesn't really stick with you. I'll give it a, th I'll give it a three and a half for aftertaste. Just because I am still tasting it, but I don't think that's the aftertaste, you know? I don't know how to explain aftertaste. It's just something that like, it doesn't come until like later. And you're like, ooh, do not like this. All right, so moving on to the next one. This one, I'm almost positive that I've tasted before and I think I got it before at Sprouts. I don't think I got this flavor though. This is the Olipop Ginger Lemon. I think this is also a like probiotic, prebiotic, <laughs> Plant powered, microbiome approved, sparkling tonic. Prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber, supports digestive health. So this has two grams of sugar per can, has 25 milligrams of sodium, has nine grams of dietary fiber. 13 grams total carbohydrates, contains 6% juice, 35 calories. This has purified water, ginger juice, Ollie Smart, which consists of chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, kudzu root, cassava fiber, cassava syrup, marshmallow root, slippery elm bark, nopal cactus, calendula flower. Then it also contains apple juice, lemon juice, cassia cinnamon, sorry, cassia cinnamon, stevia, pink rock salt, ginger essence, mold spice flavor extract. So, there we go. Some of those things, I'm like, why is that in my soda? Like artichoke and kudzu root. Oh my gosh, it smells. <laughs> This is why I can't drink wine, because wine, like the the smell of it just like takes over before I even get the drink to my mouth. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> I don't want to drink any more of that. It is very ginger. Oh. I bet, no, nope. Fizz, it gets a one. It like didn't have any fizz. I'll give it a one and a half um, for fizz. Oh my gosh. I need to drink something else. General taste, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a one. I did not like that at all. It was very heavy on the ginger. Like I, <laughs> it almost tasted like I was sucking on a, a ginger root. Not for me. Not for me. Aftertaste, I will, also, I'll give it a one and a half for aftertaste. Um, Cause that's why I had to drink another soda to get the taste of it out of my mouth. I did not, I did not enjoy that one at all. So the next one that we're gonna do is actually Sprouts own brand. Um, and I've had Sprouts kombucha. That was actually really good. I forgot which flavor I had. So this is the organic probiotic sparkling water and I got it in the flavor watermelon cherry lime. So this contains 7% juice. It has five milligrams of sodium for 12 ounces. It has 11 grams of carbohydrates, which that consists of sugar. It has one gram of protein. Ooh. Okay, fizziness. I'm gonna give the fizziness a three. Three and a half, we'll give it a three and a half. General taste, as far as the watermelon cherry lime, I don't know that I could taste all of those flavors. That's three, to me, very distinctive flavors. Yeah, or it's just like a, a new flavor, <laughs> um, which is good. I actually really like the flavor of that. I'm gonna give it a four, and then I'm gonna give it a four in aftertaste. It does have a slight aftertaste, but it's not a, it's not an unpleasant one. It reminds me definitely a lot of their kombucha. I like that. Okay, so the last one, I think out of all of these, it's probably like the least healthy um, because I do think that it has a sugar substitute in there, but we're gonna see. I've never uh, tasted this brand before. I have seen it 
everywhere. I've heard of it, um, but I've never tasted it. So we are going to taste. So this is the Zevia Zero Calorie Drink. It is black cherry flavored, naturally flavored. It is caffeine free, non-GMO. It has carbonated water, citric acid, stevia leaf extract, and natural flavors. Okay. It is sweetened with stevia, um, which is not as bad for you as other artificial sweeteners because stevia is a plant. This tastes very familiar. Like I feel like I've had something like that recently. And I think I've had something that has been sweetened with stevia recently. I'm not as huge of a fan because to me, stevia has an intense aftertaste. Fizz. I think I'm gonna give it a, I'll give it a four for fizz. No, I'll give it a three and a half because it has around the same one as the sprouts one. I gave the sprouts a three and a half. For general taste, you can definitely taste the black cherry. So I like that. I don't think I like the taste of stevia. I seem to prefer aspartame. I don't think I like the taste of stevia. So that to me is very much a personal preference. All of this stuff is, is a personal, like subjective. I'm not objectively saying anything today. So yeah, as far as the taste of it, I like the flavor of the black cherry, but I'm not sure that I like the flavor of the stevia. So I am gonna give it a three for general taste. And then for aftertaste, I think it has the most of an aftertaste than anything else that I've tried today. Um, so I am gonna give it, oh, except for the Olipop, I forgot about that one. So I'm gonna give it a two for aftertaste. All right, so let's add all these up and see which one got the best score, which one got the worst score. Let's do it. Okay, so. The scores have been tallied. I have our results. So, first we'll start off with the BU, the BU, the BU. Got a fizz score of two and a half, a general taste score of four, and an aftertaste score of four for a total score of 10.5 out of 15. Hansen's, Hansen's Mandarin Lime. This one got a fizz score of three and a half, a general taste score of four and a half and an aftertaste score of four and a half for a total score of 12.5 out of 15. Moving on to LaCroix, the lime naturally essenced water sparkling. Fizz score of three, a general taste score of 1.5 and an aftertaste score of 3.5 for a total of eight out of 15. We move on to Olipop, ah, Olipop. This one got a fizz score of 1.5 a general taste score of one, and an aftertaste score of 1.5 for a total of four out of 15. Then for our Sprouts Probiotic Sparkling Water, it got a fizz score of 3.5, a general taste score of four, and an aftertaste score of four for a total of 11.5 out of 15. And finally, our Zevia got a fizz score of 3.5, a general taste score of three, and an aftertaste score of two, for a total score of 8.5 out of 15. So who is the winner? <laughs> Drum roll please. The winner is Hanson's with a score of 12.5 out of 15. The only thing about Hanson's, this soda right here, that scored the highest when it comes to taste and just general satisfaction, the only thing about this one is that it does have 44 grams of sugar and that is added sugar. That is a lot of sugar to have in a drink, especially a 12 ounce can, which you usually drink all at once pretty much. The one that came in second though was the Sprouts Probiotic Sparkling Water, which got 11 and a half out of 15. Not bad at all. So I think overall this is probably the one that is the healthiest alternative that has the best taste in my opinion. I again got the flavor watermelon cherry lime, but there were several different flavors there. BU, this came in at third. Um, I actually really enjoyed this one. This one really did taste like just a slightly flavored water. So Hansen's to me is <laughs> the best tasting out of all of these and the most satisfying out of all of these. But if you are looking for a little bit healthier of a soda substitute that has a little bit of fizz to satisfy that soda need, I would try one of these too.
Sprouts Probiotic or BU, BU. <laughs> Both of these are probiotic waters. So there you go. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if any of y'all have tried any of these out and what you think. Are you a LaCroix drinker? I know a lot of people are. Or if there are any that were not mentioned here that you have really liked and are healthy alternatives to soda, um, I would love to know. Again, I've been on a quest for like the past 10 years. If you are new here or if you've been watching for a while and have not yet subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you here. Give that notification bell a little click so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On our next video, I will be testing out the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection. So stay tuned for that. That will be again coming on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, question of the day, answer down in below. What do you call soda? What do you call Coke? What do you call pop? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.